Hi guys, thanks for watching yesterday. Welcome to part two. Um, mainly I've been building the island this time um, and a few other little bits as well. We had a delivery of plants as well, so enjoy watching. What's arriving? Oh, hopefully they're going to be all right. They were sat in a warehouse for ages, weren't they? Well, that's not good. No, the packing peanuts. Because they're at the stage now where the leaves are starting to die off. Yeah. So what? <laughs> so what's this know. one? I think this is a blueberry. Giant blueberry. Oh, yum! Is that another blueberry? It is, but this is the pink lemonade. Oh. What's this one? It's nice that they put care into the packaging, but it's really annoying as well. <laughs> I'm guessing this box is all blueberries. Are you happy with what we've got? I think so. So, just remembering what everything is now. See all the labels in French. <laughs> um, some of them are easy, like this is a all these are golden raspberries. Amazing. So like autumn fruiting. Um, but I bought some which were on there which were like hybrids. So it was like a blackberry cross raspberry. Oh, that's going to be know, so, so like good. It grew more vigorously but yep. it still was just raspberries and not yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. So I'll have to look back and remember what raspberries, black jewel raspberry. What's a black jewel raspberry? Like a pur more purple one. Oh. So not not a blackberry, still a raspberry, but purple. Black jewel again. Pearl cranberry. Do you reckon it'll fruit next year? Uh, I don't know. Will raspberries fruit off of last year's canes? Maybe they'll fruit, but it'll probably be the year after for them. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about blueberries, if we'll get any or not. I think we should. Well, that'd be really good if we could. Black currant. Amazing. Uh, gooseberry. Right, let's get these in the ground. We need to definitely make sure the chickens stay away. Yeah, probably we'll get them watered until I've got time and properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, like, set something up. Cool. Looks awesome. Yeah. Well, I've just come home and you've already started it. I can't believe it. Are these some of the bricks that we had anyway? Yeah, so the... Um, this was our old chimney breast ones, wasn't yeah, it? The chimney in the other part of the house that we took off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the bricks from there, so we won't have enough to do it all. No. Oh, Thomas. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I just thought I'd make a start on the base. Right. And then we kind of... Is it just me or does it. it look skinnier than it originally? Or is that because we've had to kind of go with the size of the brick as opposed to yeah. actual size that we wanted? Yeah. Ah, oh, I get ya. Obviously we can make the top that sits on it any size we want. Can't we? Well, of course, yeah. But I'm still going to be able to use all this inside bit for storage. Yeah. Amazing. This looks so good. What? <laughs> you alright, Thomas? <laughs> Is Daddy done a good job? I oh, don't look. Oh, right. You... Oh, my God. That looks amazing. So I, yeah. literally it's come on so much since I last looked. I've just finished like tidying up from dinner and the kids are in bed and yeah, Whoa! Look <laughs> I look so good. A little laser level thing that I've been using is just run out of batteries. Oh that's really annoying. Well, I hope it's batteries anyway. Oh. And I don't think we've got any. Have you smacked it or something? Dropped it? No. I don't think we've got any, which is Oh, that's why is it that's always the case, isn't it? But no, literally, that is 
Wow. I'm so impressed with that. Yeah, so you can sort of see it's going to be built up and then I'm just going to have a... So is it going to be arch on both sides? Yeah. Ah, see, I only thought it was an arch on one side. Yeah, so then it's accessible from either side of the island, you know. That looks so smart. Oh, God, how many more bricks have we got left? Not many, no. Uh oh. Yeah. Probably enough to like finish these two pillars, maybe. Right. right. So, we we'll look for some more. I mean, they're they're about everywhere. Aren't yeah. They? You said the bricks. They're the fire like, bricks, are aren't used they? For the old chimneys. Yeah. And actually, when you dismantle one of them old chimneys, if you start from the top, you can literally <laughs> they literally pop off. I remember. Yeah. Like that. They're not. They're just <laughs> thingied in with like clay mud. So loads of people have got them. It's just kind of got to ask around now for... Have a little shufty about and see what we can find. Yeah. But At no. least when this is up, or even now, you know, we'll get a sense of what it is to sort of walk around it. And I think it'd be nice. It's a nice... Hopefully it'll look quite authentic. Oh, yeah. You know, when it's done. Right. Because the arches that we have here... So we've got an arch there, but then above all the windows and the door, there's yep. the same brick arch, so I'm trying to tie it in. No pressure then, because no. their arches are perfect, so... Well, I'm hoping I'll build these columns up, yep. and then I'll just make a wood arch, which I'll put in there, yep. and just lay the bricks on the wood arch until it's set and take the wood away. That's kind of the... <laughs> you make it sound so that's straightforward. The, that's the theory anyway. <laughs> no, I've got faith. I believe in you. So I've just got to kind of calculate how... Oh, yeah, how are you going to work out... I do the arch with space for a couple of bricks on top. Right, okay. You see what I mean? So I've just got, kind of got to get my head... Well, you don't want it too... I ain't that tall. I don't want to be cutting veg like chin no, length. No, it'll still be a normal, <laughs> a normal length. Yeah, okay. But obviously... We want the arch and then a couple of bricks above the arch and then the table. I feel like you're just blobbing that on. So what's this idea then that you want to show me? These are from, you know, the old Singer sewing machine cast oh, iron bases. Oh yeah. So I bought about three or four, and I've just, I didn't buy them with any intention. Maybe make a table out of them or something. You know, I've just sort of cut them up in yeah. bits. I was wondering if, I know it's sort of faking it a bit, but if maybe we. Cemented these in, right? And building up the bricks, you know, sort of like that, yeah. And then, you know, bricked up and just had it cemented in. If it had just add a bit of something, you know, just a bit of something to it, a bit of interest. Hmm, I, I like it actually. It's not, are you going to be able to see it though once the countertop and stuff is on? I think so, yeah. I just kind of like the idea that it. I like the idea of people thinking, "Oh, what did what was this used for originally?" Oh, right, I see. You know, something along them sort of lines. I know. It's just <laughs> and then what are you gonna thing. say? 
yeah, we'll, <laughs> well, yeah. we'll just have to make something up really interesting, won't we? <laughs> yeah, for kids are naughty. That's where they used to put kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I just think, I just found them lying about and I thought... Are we going to be able hmm. to still point the bricks, you know, behind it and stuff? Yeah, or maybe I'll point up to here... And then lay the bricks and it might be a little bit awkward. And then just kind of, yeah, struggle with only This half. one, it's still got a bit of paint off, so maybe I'll take the paint off. Yeah. You know, and just, so it's back to that sort of more rust. Do you know what? I think that's really cool, actually. It's just, yeah, it just gives it that extra je ne sais quoi. Yeah, so. Cool. Let's do this. Why not? Thank you. Is Daddy being messy? Are you tidying up? <laughs> so I've come in here and there's carnage going on. The boys are being boys. Cool. Is that cemented in now? Yeah, it's just set in, that's why that... Would you kill me if I try and spin it? <laughs> so, this bit as well. Okay. Oh my god, look at that! Mummy! So. Wait, wait. Okay? Okay, yeah. Wow. So I'm assuming you're going to take the wood out once it's set. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll take yeah. that out and it'll be a nice. That looks so metal. good! Look at that masterpiece. I didn't know we were going to do one on the end. Was that yeah. a little. Cheeky thrown in extra. Yeah, I just sort of add something a bit to the end and it gives me a bit of practice. Give me a bit of practice for the bigger ones, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I've got faith now. That looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, going to do another wheel this side, the same as that. Yeah. And then the rest will just be the arches. So. Amazing. Oh, look at this. Yeah, well, I just had a little bit of a disaster. Oh, God, what? This wood slipped. Well, you wouldn't really tell. No, so, you know, it might be a little bit wonky. I'll have to just... Oh, then one's going... I think there's two bricks that are slightly more in than the rest, but... Yeah, we'll have to just see. But that's why I'm just getting these few on top just to tie in a little bit more. It's looking so snazzy. Yeah, yeah. You drink your milk. Clever boy. This looks like really intense. It's just because I can't put too much pressure on because of the arch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll let it fit until this dries. Don't be impatient either. How long is it going to be until it's properly well, dry? Tomorrow morning, I can take away the. Four okay. And then start. And then three more to go. <laughs> but that's the actual height, that's the finished height. And then worked up on top of that. Okay, so let me have a go. Pretending to cut the veg, move stuff from here to here. It's good height. Uh, this arch here, I've took the wood out, and that's actually looking quite nice. That. So, yeah. We're yeah. gonna have the poshest house in the palais. Yeah, so you get a real sense of it now. I think it'll look nice. So I've still got to do the joints. Oh, look at that. So, just as I'm waiting for that arch to dry, yeah. Sort of start making a job on, making a start on the pointing. That looks so smart. It's got to be brushed off yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Nice. It's a good job you dab hand at that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, No, mommy. I'm well practiced now, isn't it? <laughs> Should we do a side each and see whose is better? Only if you do my side too. <laughs> yeah. So. It's looking so smart. Well, what do you think? I love it. It's come out quite good, I think. To properly be able to point in between the wheels. No, it was a pain. <laughs> I can imagine that was a pain actually. Yeah. So, yeah, so 
obviously we've got to take that arch down and then it can fit on the others but it looks nice pointy doesn't it? It looks so good. I'm telling you now everyone's going to be wild jealous of our kitchen aren't they? Instagram kitchen. Yes! <laughs> we can finally have an Instagrammable house! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah so just keep working away at the arches. Honestly, that looks amazing. I genuinely think it looks better than how I thought it was going to look. Do you not have faith in me? No, of, of <laughs> course I have faith in you, darling. When do I ever not have faith? But that looks banging. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. I like this little arch at the end as well. That's come out quite nice. Yeah, oh, and as well. So I spoke to our neighbour Didier. <laughs> Good old Didier. Uh, he's going to come and spray this with the render on mm -hmm. Saturday. So I just, As I'm in just going to mix it up and he's going to spray it on and he said it'll literally take 30 minutes or something. Really? To do that whole wall, yeah. What, even all the way up? No, we're not doing all the way up because that's already done. Okay. So it's just this bit. Oh, just wicked. Cure it. So that's a big part of the messy stuff done. So that'd be really good. Can't wait. So Saturday for that. Does that mean so once finish pointing this wall? Mm -hmm. It's about what a third is done. Yeah. Already, so I've got to finish pointing that. That'll be done. How long will it take to dry until we can plasterboard it? Okay, better question. When can I hang my chandelier up? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got to get the plasterboard up there. Oh, oh, yes. Well, at least I'm not pregnant this time, trying to put plasterboard on the eaves. Yeah, so we've got to get the plasterboard <laughs> up there, which won't take long, it's just a pain. Yeah, it as is a pain. As soon as we've done that, I need to make a little bracket for the chandelier as well, because cause it weighs 20 kilos. I don't want it suspended on one point. Can I have... Rather it be like a bar that's got a few points, and then... Okay, you know, yeah. To spread the weight. I'd prefer that too. So we've got to do that, so there's a bit to do, but now the floor's down, and once the walls are done, as you know from when we've done it before, then it starts moving really quick because the plasterboard goes up in no time. Mm. You know, running the wires and stuff's really easy, so hopefully we're on track. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So hopefully IKEA's going to open again after lockdown. Well, yeah, it's dependent on that as well because we've still got a few cupboards and stuff. And Well, it's just a lot like, like brackets and stuff like that that we yeah. need, isn't it? I mean, probably we won't have stuff like ovens and hobs in. I don't think we'll have to use our old Our oven faithful for now. camping cooker. But if we could go, if IKEA could be open, then we could at least get the few of the units we need to finish yeah, up. Yeah, definitely. So, um, and it's a good excuse to have a day out. Yeah, we like going there, so. Cool. Right. Well, 